Have you ever opened Facebook Ads Manager and wondered what's going on? With so many buttons and so many options, it gets really hard to understand, right? So you don't need to worry because in this video, we'll simplify everything step by step. We'll get to know what the Ads Manager interface looks like and understand it thoroughly. We'll also look at the differences between campaigns, ad sets, and ads. So let's not waste any time and find out exactly what we're going to learn in today's video. So number one, what is Facebook Ads Manager? We'll learn where you can access it and we'll also understand that in this section. Number two, overview of the Ads Manager interface. Number three, structure of Facebook Ads Manager, meaning we'll thoroughly understand the levels of campaign, ad set, and ad structure. So let's start with number one. What exactly is Facebook Ads Manager? All right, so first of all, you can think of it as a kind of control center where you manage your Facebook and Instagram ads. Facebook Ads Manager means a control center for managing ads, right? Now, if you also want to run paid promotions, this is the place where you'll create your ads, set your budget, analyze the results, and optimize your ads from this very platform so you can run your ads even more effectively. Now you've understood what Facebook Ads Manager is. Now, how do you access it, right? So there are two ways we can access it. First, you can log in to your Ads Manager from your Facebook account, or in other words, you can access it from there. The second way is by accessing it through Meta Business Suite, and when you access the ad account, that is, the Ads Manager through Meta Business Suite, that will be our Business Ads Manager. So now let me tell you, the Ads Manager that you access from your Facebook account is called the Personal Ads Manager, and the Ads Manager you access through Meta Business Suite will be our Business Ads Manager, okay? However, you can access both of these from the same place without getting confused. Let's look at the screen and understand what I'm trying to say, okay? So here I am. I've come to my Facebook account, meaning I've logged in there. Now, first of all, I'll take you to the personal ads manager. So how will we access that? Here, you can see nine dots. You simply need to go to ads here, and then the interface that opens up will be your personal ads manager. Now, how will you check that? How will you confirm it? Why do you need to confirm? Because if you already have other ad accounts created, they might also show up here. So to confirm that, you need to click on this dropdown. Now you need to check which ad account you're on so you can see it here. Here it says your account and there's something written here, business portfolio. Okay, so any account under this is my business ads account, all right. These are the business ad accounts. The ad account here is my personal ad account. Now here I am selected, meaning I am currently on my personal ads manager, okay. So we've seen the personal ads manager. The other ads manager that we will access will be our business ads manager, all right. How will we access that? So simply, again, you just need to stay on Facebook. You don't have to do anything else. You need to click on your profile. Here you'll see Meta Business Suite, okay. I've now come to Meta Business Suite. Here you'll see the option for all tools. Here, under Advertise, you'll see Ad Manager. So whichever account you get redirected to, that will be your business ads manager. Again, we need to confirm this as well because if we have other business ads accounts, they might also show up here. So we need to confirm whether we're on the correct one or not. Okay, so yes, I'm on the correct business ad account. So now I've landed here. That means I've come to my business ads manager. Now, you might say that first I have to go to Meta Business Suite, then go to Business Manager, and then access it from there. So it's a long process, but that's not the case. You can also access it directly from Facebook. Now, it's important to know this process because everything is managed in Meta Business Suite, so you should have this information. If you've only logged into Meta Business, then where will you go, right? To your Ads Manager. So this is one of the ways. Now, let me tell you another shortcut. The first one I mentioned, where you're already logged into your Facebook, right? Then, as I told you, you'll go to Ads Manager from there, and the Ads Manager that opens will be your personal Ads Manager. From here itself, you can switch to your Business Ads Manager. Shim. Simply, you just need to go here and select your Business Ad Account. It's loading right now. From here, I'll select my Business Ad Account, and just like that, I'll be redirected to my Business Ads Manager. Simple. We can access this navigation from several places, but there's one important thing you need to know. Don't get confused thinking that since it's opening from there and also from here that they're different or something. 
you shouldn't have that confusion in your mind. So you can access it from both places, right? So now we've seen how to access it. We know from where our Facebook ads manager interface will open, okay. So now we've seen the ads manager interface, we've entered it. Now let's see what it actually looks like. That means number two, let's take an overview of the ads manager interface, okay. At first, it might seem a little overwhelming. So many interfaces, so many options, so many buttons, how come? It's okay. We'll understand everything one by one, okay? So now we've come into our ads manager, and let me tell you, we're in our business ads manager. All right, if someone is a beginner, they'll do everything from their personal ads manager at first. If you have multiple ad accounts, if you're a freelancer, or if you belong to an agency, then your business ads manager will be helpful for you. All right, now let's take a quick overview of how this looks, what options are where, and what each section is for. Okay, we'll go through all these things. There's already a campaign created right now. Let me delete it. I'll go ahead and delete it. This was just a dummy campaign. Okay, first of all, the options you see here on your left side. Again, this is a drop down, and I've already explained its function to you. From here, you can access all your ad accounts. Then you see the search option here. If you've already run campaigns and you know the name, you can type the name here or use filters to find your campaign. Simply click on all ads and all your ads will be listed here. Whichever ads are active and currently running will be listed here and there are other options as well. All right, so that was your search option. So the first thing you see, the very first tab you see here is the campaign tab. We'll look at what all things we do in the campaign section. But for now, just take a quick overview. We'll learn everything step by step. We saw the campaign. Then the second tab you see is the ad set tab. So now these names are clear to us. The third tab is the ads tab, and that's clear to us as well. All right, so we'll be working on these three tabs whenever we run a meta ad. Okay, so we've understood this part. Now, if we scroll down, the first option you see is create. All right, this is where we create our campaign. Then the other options here will only become active or enabled once we create a campaign. Okay, and here you can also see something about A, a B testing. You will get to know about this as well. Then if you go to more, you'll see even more options. All right, then here we have column performance, which means we can view our results or metrics based on certain criteria. So if you've run a lot of ads, you can choose which things you wanna look at, whose performance you wanna see. What do you wanna see? Here, you also have options for which metrics you want to view. If you want to generate a report and export it, you can do that too. If you want to see your data in a visualized form to visualize which things are performing better at what time and which are not, you can see that through this chart option. Then this is our date range option. From here, you can select which dates campaign you want to view. And then all these things you see here are some metrics based on which you measure the performance of your ads. That is how your ad is running. How will you find out? All right, how many people are clicking on it? How many impressions it's getting? That is, how many people it's reaching? How many people are seeing it? You will measure your ad's performance based on all these things. All right, how much amount is being spent when your ad is going to end? And there are other metrics here as well, depending on your objective. So this was our overview of the business ads manager. Now, if you look on the left side here, there are even more options available. So what we just explored was the campaign tab inside the ads manager. If you go to the top, you'll see the option for account overview. Here, you need to fill in some business related information because without this, you won't be able to run your ad. You have to add a payment method. You need to verify your email address. If your Facebook page isn't created or connected, you can do all those things from here. We've already explored the campaign section. Let's look at ads reporting. Here, you'll find reports related to the ads you've run. You can prepare a proper report by selecting which metrics you want to see for which campaign. You can also name the report. Then comes the audience section here. Now, when we run ads, we often target a very specific audience. Sometimes we also run our ads for a broad audience. All right, so you can create those audiences from here. Whether you want to create a custom audience, a lookalike audience, or save your own audience, you can do all of that here. You can manage all those things from here. You don't have to learn everything at once. Just understand one thing at a time and know that all these options are available. Then when we go into the advertising settings, let's see what options we get to see here. Now, here you'll find some advanced settings. There's account control, and you can see the Advantage Plus creative option here as well. 
If you create an ad, that's also an option. And then there's the audience segment option here as well. Then there's something called default beneficiary and payer. Again, it's related to the audience. If you want to know more about this, you can click here. You can read what it means. Then there's something called data set and pixel. Now here, if you want to track your ad and keep its data, then you can use something called pixel and you can connect your assets with the pixel. How do you do this? Again, it's something that's a little bit advanced, but if you're a beginner, you should at least know that things like pixel and data set exist. Then here is something called name template. You can create something like a template for your campaigns. Okay, so these are some of the things we have in the advertising settings. Then there's something called billing and payment. This is a self-explanatory term. Here in this section, you have to add your payment method. All right, you can see here that you need to add funds to your ad. You'll find all these things in this tab. Then there's something called Event Manager. Now, if you have an app to advertise, then if you want to track the data from your app, you need to connect it with Facebook. So you can connect all those things from here. Then you have some codes and tools, and you can find the rest of the important buttons here as well. Here too, you get options for managing things at the main level for paid advertising. At the level of campaigns, at the audience level, and at the reporting level. In other words, these four major things that you see in Ads Manager. You'll understand all of these things one by one as we go forward. All right? So this was a proper overview of our Ads Manager, which you now understand. Now, let's move ahead and learn about number three, the structure of Facebook Ads Manager. This is a very important topic. It's really important to understand this. Why? Because only when you understand this will you be able to figure out what directly impacts the performance of your ads. How these three things, that is the structure of ads manager, the three things I'm going to tell you about are so important for your ads. So for this, let's go to our screen and try to visualize and understand it. So now we were talking about what the structure of Facebook ads actually is. Now, let me first explain a bit of the theory to you. Then I'll also show you on the actual screen by going into Ads Manager, okay? So now the very first level is the campaign level. Level one is our campaign level. There are certain things we do at this level. So let's actually take a look at this in our Ads Manager, okay? So you can see this is our campaign. This is the first level. I've already given you an overview about this before. Now this level is like a foundation. Everything starts from here. You can think of the campaign as an umbrella, okay? meaning everything happens within this campaign. Here, you select the objective for your ads, like if you want brand awareness, if you wanna let people know about your products or services, if you wanna drive traffic to your website, or if you want conversions, like getting people to buy your product, or if you wanna do lead generation, meaning you wanna collect customer details. Basically, if you're running an ad, you'll have some goal in mind, right? That thing is decided right here. Let's take a look at this practically as well. Now, when I clicked on create, the very first thing you see is to select the objective for your campaign. In awareness, you see these options, reach, brand awareness, videos, views, store location awareness. In traffic, you get a lot of options as well as an engagement, leads, app promotion, and sales. All these objectives are given to you based on your niche. That is, what you wanna do, why you wanna run the ad, what its purpose is. For all those things, these options are available to you. Now, if you're thinking that I should explain each thing to you one by one, tell you the meaning of everything with examples, like when you should select the awareness objective, this is something that often causes confusion too. But for now, we'll just understand the meaning of each tab and each level, what we actually do in them. We're only going to focus on that because creating an ad itself is something that would need a separate, dedicated video. I'll definitely make that in the upcoming videos. But for now, it's important for us to understand what all we can do here. You're not going to run an ad directly. You'll first understand everything, right? So right now, our job is just to understand, okay? So here, we need to select our objective, right? Now we've seen what we can do in a campaign, right? Now, what else can we do in this? Here, we can create different, that is, multiple ad sets, meaning we can create more than one ad set. Now, what does that mean? Look, let's say I've chosen my objective here. Now, when I go to the next step, when I continue, right now I'm at the campaign level. When I click next, I'll move to the ad set level. Can you see this? Here, I'll come to my ad set level. Now, here at the ad set level, I can create more ad sets as well, meaning I can create multiple ad sets. 
This level, this layer, we can call it the strategy level. This is the place where you actually build your strategy. Now, in the ad set, you define certain things. What do you define? You define the audience. You decide who will see your ads, on what basis they will be shown, which location, what age group will see them, what their interests will be, all these things you decide at this level. You also decide the behavior here, and you choose the placement at this level as well. In other words, your entire ad strategy is determined at the ad set level, right? Even if you get a simple question like this in the future, say in an interview, if someone randomly asks you what you do at the ad set level, you should know exactly what happens at the ad set level. This is where we create our strategy, right? We decide the placement and we also determine the audience's behavior right here. All right, let's take a practical look at this as well. Now look, we will go through all these options, but as I already told you, right now we need to understand what things we can do at this level. C, we also decided the budget at this level. Now, the concept of budget is different in itself. Let me explain. We decide the budget at the campaign level as well as at the ad set level. The concept behind this is a bit different, but for now, just understand that the budget is set at both levels, okay? Right now, the budget we're seeing is at the ad set level. We've understood this much, okay? Next, we can decide our dates. And then if you move forward, as I mentioned before, you also decide your audience from here itself, okay? What should your location be? Then which placement should you choose? That is, where do you want your ads to appear? So here you see two options. We will talk about that, but for now, as you can see here, whether you want it on Facebook, Instagram, or Messenger, you can manually select all these options yourself. You see this option here, okay? So this part is our ad set level. Now, let's move on to the next level, which is our ad level. Now, this level is where we put all our creativity, right? Here, the actual ads, the things people will see, are what we create here. This is our final step. Here, you design your actual ad, right? In this step, you select your ad format. You decide how your ads will look, whether it will be an image, a carousel, or maybe in video form. You write all of that here. That means the headline and description that people will read, and based on that, they'll click on your ad. Right? You do all of these things here, and you also add your call to action at the ad level itself. Now, as you can see here, within a campaign you can create multiple ad sets, and within each ad set, you can add multiple ads. Alright, this is very simple. This is the basic structure of your Facebook Ads Manager, on the basis of which you run your ads. Alright, now let's see this practically. So now, if I click on Next, then I will be directed to my ad level. Okay. Now you have the option to select your ad creatives. Do you want a single image, a carousel, or a collection of both, right? You'll see here that you have the option to write your text, meaning the primary text. You have the option to write a headline, and there are other options for tracking as well. If you're running an ad, you'll also want to track it, so you have that option available here too. At the end, you'll see the Publish button. If you do everything correctly, you can confirm, then you will be clicking on Publish. But right now, we haven't created any ad yet. We have just gone through the interface of every tab. This is basically the simple structure of any Ads Manager. So that was everything about Ads Manager. You've understood everything from its structure to all the details. I hope you've understood everything about what Facebook Ads Manager is, its overview, interface, and you've also clearly understood the structure of Facebook Ads Manager. By the way, there are even more features in it like reporting, analytics, and many other options are also available. With time, when you have data, once you've run your ads, you'll have that data, and then you'll be able to utilize other options of the Ads Manager. We'll analyze things based on our previous data in our upcoming videos. So with this, thank you for choosing Know How Academy as a source of knowledge, and until then, keep learning and stay curious.